Does this whiskey hit you with two barrels of flavor? Let's find out because this week I'm looking at the double barrel from Two Stacks. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd and like I said this week I'm looking at the double barrel from Two Stacks. So let me get into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now Two Stacks aren't actually a whiskey producer, they're more of a whiskey seller, they're a whiskey blender and what they do is they take good whiskies, they blend them together in interesting ways and they release them and that's what they've done here in the double barrel whiskey. This is a single malt whiskey which was distilled and matured at the Great Northern Distillery in Northern Ireland. So it is a single malt despite it being made of three different components and classic to two stacks they are very open about what those three different components are. There is 10% of it is peated malt which was aged in bourbon casks, 50% is triple distilled malt whiskey, which is aged in Oloroso sherry casks, and 40% is double distilled malt aged in bourbon casks. So you know exactly what's in the glass, you know exactly what's in there and what you should be getting in your flavor profile from your whiskey. It also comes in at a respectable 43% ABV and no color has been added, so it's actually got a nice coloring on the whiskey from that aging in different barrels. So I think that's enough talking. Let's go for the nose. Cheers. Okay, I'm always surprised when I go to this whiskey how much of an impact that 10% peated malt has had because it's quite nicely rounded, there's like a deep kind of core of smoke in the whiskey and it does kind of shine through a lot, like 10% of it is peated malt and that seems quite low but it does have quite a nice bit of presence in the glass. Yeah, it's just kind of warming kind of campfire smoke, I wouldn't say it's like iodine or medicinal or anything like that you get from a really heavily peated like a scotch whiskey it's more of a nice warming smokiness coming through not heavily peated more heavily smoky if that makes sense and of course it's also a very sweet whiskey it's a lot of bourbon a lot of sherry aging has gone into here so it's got this almost kind of berries dried berries kind of fruitiness coming through from that all rose sherry aging there's caramel there's vanilla there's a bit of maltiness in there as well. It's definitely a nice maltiness, but that's down below the sweetness, but down below the fruitiness and down below that smokiness. I'm not getting a huge amount of nuttiness on the nose and normally with an Oloroso Sherry finish, I'd expect to get a little bit of nuttiness. I'm not getting a huge amount here. Maybe, um, maybe like a little bit of hazelnut coming through on the nose, but I'm hoping that'll deliver in the palate. So let's go for the palate. Cheers. As soon as I tasted the whiskey, I got this really rich sweetness coming through. Vanilla, caramel, biscuity, grain notes, and then I was hit with this nice bit of fruitiness. Um, it wasn't less dry fruit, it was more like a kind of a blackberry, like a fresh fruity berry coming through in the palate. And then as it moved into the mid palate, the smokiness developed, that kind of rich rounded smokiness it definitely did develop. So I'm gonna go in for another sip and see what else I can find. Cheers. Second sip round, as I get into that smokiness, I'm also getting a little bit of barrel char. Not a huge amount, not really like a cocoa, but almost almost approaching like a, like an espresso, like that kind of coffee, that roasted coffee note. Yeah, kind of a roasted note, not a really charred, heavily charred note, but a little bit of a kind of a roasted coffee note coming through. And I was able to get a little bit more of that hazelnut, like I said, like in the nose. It's quite subdued, it's behind the other notes. There's a little bit of hazelnut in there, but it really is leading up front with that sweetness, with that fruitiness, and with that bit of smoke. So let's go in again, but we're gonna talk about the finish. Cheers. Okay, on the finish, as I'm going, the fruitiness fades off, the biscuity notes fade off, leaving me with that kind of barrel char, the toasted kind of coffee note, and the smokiness lingering on. The sweetness does fade quite quickly. Like I've got still got a little bit of the kind of biscuity maltiness coming through, but most of those sweet notes have faded off, leaving me with that oakiness, that smokiness, and that bit of toasted coffee. It is, I'd say, 
medium to medium short, depending on how you look at it, depending on how you look at which of those flavors start to fade. It's not a huge development, like there's not a resurgent of any of the notes from the nose, there's not like a, a massive left field turn, there's not something different coming through. I mean, at 43%, I'd expect it to be not kind of overly complex. I mean, 43%, it's a good percentage for a whiskey, it's just not gonna deliver like a cask strength kind of evolution on a whiskey, but it's gonna deliver a nice bit of flavor. This is absolutely one of the whiskeys I'd use to show someone who's getting into Irish whiskey what Irish whiskey can do when it's being a little bit different. I mean, yeah, there's the classic bourbon and sherry aging, but it's also got some peated malt in there. So there's a little bit of a left turn, a little bit different than those classic Irish whiskeys you're gonna see on the market. And also I do appreciate the transparency that goes into the bottle. I mean, it tells you exactly what it is, exactly how it was aged and exactly where it was coming from. And that's one of the things I like about Two Stacks. I like about their transparency, their ethos about showing the consumer where the whiskey comes from. And if I was gonna answer, is this a good whiskey? I think it is a good whiskey. I mean, Two Stacks definitely think so. You may be familiar with their Dram in a Can. Well, they've also released this one. It's the Blue Dram in a Can, and this is their single malt Dram in a Can. This is the blended whiskey, and this is their single malt whiskey. And this whiskey is this whiskey just put into the can. So it's very much a statement that they think this is good whiskey, and they think people are gonna enjoy this whiskey. It's not overly smoky, it's not gonna be overly powerful, so you can enjoy it on the go, but it's still got a little bit of complexity coming through from that smoke, so it's definitely gonna be a whiskey that people can enjoy. It's relatively fairly priced as well, considering the Irish whiskey market is exploding and prices are going crazy nowadays, but I think it's a good whiskey. If you like the sound of it, maybe you pick yourself up a bottle, or maybe you pick up a few of the cans to give a, a try before you commit to a full bottle. Either way, I'm gonna keep on enjoying this. I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays, cocktail recipes on Fridays, and sometimes fun little videos on Mondays. So if you wanna see more like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.